Okay, so today we are going to talk about um, the most controversial topic or the most popular world we have now in Nigeria or the world general. So, but first of all, we'd like to introduce ourselves. My name is Eri, and with me here we have Miriam. And welcome to Feminism is Trash. It's Feminism <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! It's just feminism. Okay. Welcome to Feminism is Feminism okay, Trash. It's, uh, Shit. You know it's um feminism trash. That's what I'll be like. That's what I'll be like. That's what I'll be like. I'll be like. <laughs> we hope you enjoy this episode. Okay, so welcome to the first episode of um It's Feminism Trash. So it's feminism trash. Obviously, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, from the definition of feminism, like as simple as it's stated, it is about equality of both gender facing both the male and the female on the same pedestal. If you can vote, I should be able to vote. If you are attending so a certain level in your professional career, me as a lady should also be able to attain such. If I don't want to work, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't have to. If if I want to be an astronaut, I should be I should be able to attain to such level without con considering, oh, um, I have to do this, I have to do that, and um, there are some things I have to fulfill, or because I'm a I'm a female, I cannot attain to such because of, oh, it is set in stone that I have to be this. Or what do you think? <laughs> so, I always say that, like, it is, I had a friend ask me recently that, about, like, what's my definition of feminism? Mm -hmm. And I, my response to him was just, like, it is, just as it says, feminism means equal rights for both genders. Mm -hmm. Women being able to do exactly yeah. what men can do. Yeah. Like, extra, besides biology, the biological aspect yeah. of it, obviously. Yeah. So, just... So I don't understand why it's so difficult for people to understand. Yeah. Because to me, it's just feminism. Yeah. Like, women should be able to do what the same things. Basically. Yeah, yeah. And um, I don't know, like, you know, there are various types of feminism, right? The radical yeah. feminist, Marxist. Yeah, the eco-feminism, the liberal feminist. They are of different types, actually. Mm -hmm. So if you want to know more about these types of feminism, we'll put a link in the comments um in the description box mm -hmm. for you to read more about it but what we want to talk about today the is the myths that are attached to feminism, feminism in mm -hmm. general so what are some of the myths that you've read of i think one major one is that perfectionist syndrome okay. where it is believed that as a feminist you have to act a particular way mm -hmm. you have to do certain things yeah. or you are no longer a feminist yes yeah. what i always say to that is like there's no dictionary or yeah. bible for yeah. feminism it's just people like learning that oh they mm. want to have equal rights as the other gender mm. and like try to make choices yeah. that cement that decision yeah. basically. So yeah. I also agree with that because when you expect that okay, if a particular lady is not acting a particular kind of way, it makes her less of a feminist mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. she's not measuring up to the standard of a feminism because our reality is defined who we are as yes. individuals mm -hmm. generally. So we shouldn't expect oh you have to be this way to be this person. Do you understand? So it's very fluid. Another myth that I've um, that, I, that I've heard of is that feminists, feminists generally, they hate men, they hate love, they are not my, they are not um, interested in marriage. Mm -hmm. What do you think of it? I think when it comes to marriage and marriage relationships generally, I think feminism is a very huge factor, mm -hmm. and it's like they always talk about feminism through the lens of like marriages and yes, relationships a lot, yes. and it's because that. Like a lot of the uh, sexism that we see, yes. and then even marriage itself is like a very patriarchal institution. Yes, yes. So for you to actually be a feminist mm. and be interested in marriage mm. and relationships and all of that, you have to redefine a lot of the standards yes, yes. that have been set. Yes. So I think that's where the narrative comes yes. from. That oh, they are not interested yes. in marriage. Okay, mm. fine. There are certain feminists that might not be interested in it. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> the key thing is, oh, if things were done, it used to be done like a certain way in the mm, past. Mm. We don't have to keep doing it that same way. Yeah. If especially if it's like to the detriment of the, yeah. of the woman, basically. Mm -hmm. So that's what I think. And I would like to add that one of the most um, people that fascinates me the most in fem like in, um, feminists that fascinate mm -hmm. me, they are all happily married. They have beautiful homes. They have wonderful children. So if you think that. Uh, to be a feminist, you can't be happy in a relationship, you can't be married, or you have to be miserable in your life. Then, oh, my brother, you've got it wrong. Another thing is, people can find happiness outside of those marriages and relationships. Yes, so, even if that's true, why is even anybody that's true? That's a so very, very important point, actually. That's very true. 
I think, like, and like I said, so feminism is, is majorly about choices. Like, mm-hmm, you can be anything, mm-hmm. you can do anything. Mm-hmm. As far like, so you being a woman, mm-hmm. it should not affect it in any yeah. way. And, and I think one thing, like, a reason, another reason why women like struggle with fem- um, with marriages is because, like, culturally, you're already told that yes, from like when you're little, you start hearing things like um, you, you have to look. act a certain way. Yes. Exactly, because yes, you're you groomed. Like, so that's why it seems like like they might um, feminists might seem very averse to the idea of uh, marriages and relationships. Mm. So it's not a... And even marry. changing that thing that has been ingrained in us, even yes. our partners, they, you might even experience some resistance because, okay, this is the way it has always been. Mm-hmm. So people just expect, ah, if you're having this kind of high standard, then you should not aspire to find somebody that will yes, be interested in I you. Yes, I am that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> exactly that kind of uh, mentality. So, what other uh, myth have you heard? Uh, I think there's one about feminists always being angry. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Bruh, are we not allowed to be angry? <laughs> like, are we not allowed to be angry? Honestly. Because. because... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Just the thing, the thought of it alone. Yeah. Like when, you guessing, ex- when you think about how. You start angry yes, again. what we experience, like on the a harassment. Daily, on a daily, <laughs> everywhere you turn to. You're expressing ignorance, harassment, something like it is. It is justified, honestly. Mm-hmm. If you ask me, if an angry feminist is very, very justified, everybody has that. She has, she has the right to be angry because things are a wire. Things because wherever you are turning to, you are turning to people trying to like subjugate you, people trying to make you feel less than you are, you actually are. So it is justified. Now we are humans. We have emotions. If you are, look at. Okay, I, I like to like reference the Black Lives Matter mm-hmm. movements, for example. Now you are telling me that um, because oh they are blacks or they because they've experienced racism all the while, you're saying okay they can be racist, racist to towards white people, and even aside that they don't have the right to be angry at white people because of what they've, they've done years exactly. on years on years so the to their thing. people. So you can just liken it to that and can see that see. You when you see an angry feminist, my dear, just, just accept it. Try to That's do the better. thing. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. Just accept it. Hi guys, welcome to Jero Kuto. At Jero Kuto, we are beyond a fashion brand. We are out to make a fashion statement for every lady out there in the corporate world. We bring to you mild yet sophisticated decent outfits that you can wear to work and still feel very African in it and still make your fashion statement. At Jeroko Top, we are providing one premium African print. Two, we are providing luxurious ready to wear fashion brand. Three, we are providing decent yet elegant wears. And four, we are providing the African standard measurement as against the European or the Asian standard measurements before the African woman. We are beyond the fashion brand. We are all about making a fashion statement that says, as you're European and proud, or even Asian and proud, we are equally African and proud. Okay, so another myth I've heard of is that um, feminists are usually lesbians. Has anyone ever accused you of lesbianism? <laughs> I can't say accused, but it has been insinuated multiple mm. times. And um, the reason is that I always say that once you're a feminist, the pool of men that you can be in relationships with or yeah. you can probably quit basically it shrinks yeah. by a whole lot. Yeah. Because your standards are higher. Yeah. Like you have to take away like, for most people, like the center of relationships is patriarchy. Yeah. For <laughs> and pray for them. Yeah. So as a feminist, you have to constantly like try to find somebody that doesn't think like that. Mm. So it shrinks your pool yeah. by all lot, and you just become pickier and less interested in the norm. So I guess why it is insinuated. Yes, yes. But yes. not saying that like as a feminist, you can as a you can be as, a lesbian. See, my dear, your sexual orientation is your business. It has mm-hmm. nothing to do with feminism. That's yes, just exactly. bam, period. And the one that annoys me the most, <laughs> the most, is people say that feminists can't take a joke. Bruh, 
bruh, bruh. <laughs> like, let's calm down here. It doesn't make sense if you are joking about, if you are being sexist. If because 80% of the joke, if, if there's sometimes that I go back and watch jokes that we used to laugh at like years ago, and, and you'll be music, so, and you'll be so disgusted that, why, why were we laughing at this? Like, what was funny? You see people falling on the floor, falling over themselves, laughing. But thanks to feminism now, you see people checking you that, yes. bruh, what, why, are you so, why are you saying this? It doesn't make sense. So now you have to take a step back, evaluate what you're about to say before you talk. Even skits. Yeah, you can. Yes, making skits about rape. Ah, it is just it's just frustrating to be quite honest because you can't keep joking about oh um your leg over a like I don't know if you saw that um that logo that somebody made that yeah. with the patriarchy logo that he had his leg on top of it. Yes. Like how does that? How is that funny? But people mm -hmm. were saying it was a joke. But, but how then do you, you expect us to find yeah serious something as serious issue. like yes. that? Because people are literally losing their lives about like relating to issues that, like about feminism and all of that. And then they are saying it's a joke. Don't expect us. We to are we we are we we joke a lot. If the joke is not sexist, <laughs> honestly, we joke a lot. If it's not sexist, if you if you. Um, Trevor Noah is someone that I like to use as, a, as an example. Mm -hmm. The guy makes intelligent jokes and he doesn't try. It's not. It's even come. It comes seamless to himself. Yeah. The way and you see me laughing and all of that. But if you're making a joke about how about rape, about sexual harassment, please, it's not. It won't fly with me. Mm -hmm. And I might get the backlash. So before you make conclusions or come up with various ideas about feminists, it's best to read like there are a lot of resources on Google. That's what I always tell people. They yeah. try to ask me funny yeah. questions. Because <laughs> honestly, I'm tired of debating oh feminism. God. Oh so just God. go on Google, mm. try to find answers. If you have yeah. people that are feminists and they are willing to talk to you, so yes. reach out to them. So don't come up with outrageous things, outrageous yeah. theories about yeah. feminists. And we'll drop, we'll drop some reading materials in description box if you are like starting starting um out with your feminism journey or you're just curious to learn mm -hmm. we'll, we'll drop some materials in the description box for you to like read and in the next episode we'll be talking about <laughs> we'll be going out on the streets and asking people yeah. their views their thoughts and how they feel about feminism in general we hope you join us um, then I hope you subscribe, you like, you share this video with your friends, and I hope you had a swell time with us. See you this time again next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, God.